So we're going to be installing some parts to do the timing and check valve clearance and all that stuff. First thing I need to put in is this little dick. This little dicky do right here is what the idler pulley tabs onto. Here's the part number. Now that we put the little dicky do here, you can put this idler pulley on and this bolt and then this is what will set the tension on the timing belt. There's the part number for the bolt. This modeling clay is what you're going to use. Right? It's soft, pliable. So you're going to stuff this in the valve relief area. Then, the glare, you know, you're going to put it just like this. Don't use so much. Um, you're going to do it on every valve. When the valve comes down and pushes down, it'll leave a mark, you know, somewhat like that. Then, you cut it in half. Once you cut it in half, you can see where the valve hit, and then you can see the bottom of the relief. You're going to measure from where the valve hit to the bottom of the, of the relief. Now, in this case, we have a VTEC uh, cam lobe and a normal cam load lobe. You can't do anything with the VTEC lobe without everything installed and oil pumping. So, we're going to do math backwards. So, we're going to measure how much the normal lobe hits it, then measure how much more lift the VTEC lobe has, right? And then we're going to minus that from whatever this dimension is to get our actual um, piston to valve clearance. Something like this. And then you put it in the valve relief area. Then we're going to put the head on. When we rotate it, it'll show us the non VTEC lobe. Okay? So we're going to have to do some math to figure out everything. Um, because the VTEC lobe is taller than the other one. Uh, Alright, so we set the head on. Now we're going to torque down the ARP nuts. I'm going to do uh, 40, 60, 80 for right now. Just to... Uh, come on, focus, you piece of shit. There we go. 40, 60, 80 so that we can uh, start putting the cams and stuff on so we can do the valves. Now that we have the head torqued down, I'm going ahead putting the crank pulley on. Then uh, in front of the crank pulley goes this part here. So this is like a timing belt guide type of thing. So that goes on after that. You need to put your timing belt on in time and then we're going to adjust the valve lash intake side is six thousandths exhaust side is eight all right after clay in the head uh, I already pulled it off sorry guys but uh, it's kind of doing stuff quickly um, after clay in the head we had a mark at about 200 thousandths without the VTEC lobes with the standard lobe which means uh, the VTEC lobe would have been 85 thousandths larger so that put us at 115 piston to valve clearance uh, uh, with the VTEC lobe now we're headed back to the machine shop I gotta get these little helper springs out and put the uh, GSC valve springs back in. And then we're gonna put this motor together for the final time. In the next video, we're gonna be doing this uh, VTEC conversion kit for the LS block and uh, putting the rest of the motor together. Till next time, guys, wrench on.